Oh, Judy. What? I gotta run. Oh, no. Now you don't run away. Stay tuned for a new episode of Garden Time. Welcome to Garden Time. William, what are you training for? I am training for the Fight for Your Life 5K run held every year out here at French Prairie Gardens. Later on in the show, we're gonna be telling you how you too can sign up for this great event. Also come up in the show, we'll be showing you how to fix that leaning fence. We're also gonna be showing you some winter interest plants for your garden. But first, some new styles of pottery. So I'm out here at Little Baja and I'm with Jared. And Jared, uh, we're gonna be talking about several things today, but first of all, let's talk about wood for the chimneys that you guys sell. Sure, sure. Well, at uh, fall's here. A lot of folks are gonna be burning in their chimneys. Uh, we just wanna remind everyone to choose some clean, dry wood. Now, what, what exactly does that mean? I understand the dry part, but what do you mean clean wood? Sure, well, you wanna stay away from anything that's been treated um, yeah. with creosote or stained or painted. Um, try to avoid going and grabbing boards off your old shack out in the back, <laughs> things like that. Just uh, get some nice uh, seasoned wood. Here we have some kindling. It makes it nice to start your fire nice and slow in the chimneys. So nice. that is real helpful because they're all cut to a good size. And then uh, we have a bundle, a little bit larger pieces. Um, it's a mixture of hardwoods and uh, we get it from a local uh, co-op and they do a really great job of making sure it's the best wood. It nice. smells good, it burns clean, it lasts a long time. And what are these? Um, those are a Presto log, uh, yeah, it's basically compressed wood fibers. It burns just like a hardwood. It's all natural, no chemicals or uh, wax or anything like that. Um, just also a reminder, since we're talking about fire logs, stay away from any of the instant light ones. You just want an all natural fire log that you'll ignite with kindling. And I'm sure too, if you get the right kind of wood, then you're not gonna have all of that smoke, which can really become a hassle. You're right, your neighbors will love you yeah. for it. Your <laughs> friends and family, it'll be enjoyable. It's really worth it. Now you also have gotten a, a big load of different uh, stuff in new. So let's talk a little bit about that. Most definitely, we've got a huge shipment in, uh, but some new styles that really kind of target that nice, plain, contemporary, smooth, like this stuff. Exactly like that. And it, this is cool. Yeah. So who do you find is liking this stuff? Um, I'd say the millennials for yeah, sure. Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. But Jared, these clean lines aren't just in the concrete. Not at all. We have plenty in the terracotta as well. You know, there's also a big passion for color right now. So tell us about that company and what oh, you're doing. Oh, most here. definitely. Um, we've been bringing up some really nice Talavera pottery here. Um, this is a real special product. They, uh, each piece undergoes multiple firings and it's all hand done and uh, they just come out one of a kind, really unique and color is in. Yeah, it really is and I love this stuff because not only not only is it colorful, but it's also great for outdoor or indoor use. Right. So you can just move it right into your house. Exactly. When you're kind of packing everything in for uh, the winter, you can just set that up on the windowsill. It looks really nice, bring you that color all year round. And you also got a lot of really great new chimneas, both out of the terracotta and of metals. Sure, sure. We can go take a look. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. So now, Jared, I'm going to call this the Hall of the Chimeneas because there's a lot here. Uh, tell me about what it is about that these that needs to be cured. I don't understand that. Well, you just start it nice and slow, and having that uh, small cuts of kindlings really makes that easy. You yeah. build like a little log cabin with the kindling, holds a newspaper right in the middle, gets that going. Five or ten minutes of that is really going to take the chill out of the clay, and then you're good to go. You can add your bigger pieces of wood. Well, and then also, what about the, the winter? Is there anything you need to do specifically? These are pretty much fine outdoors year-round. Um, it is a good idea to put a cap over the top and yeah. make sure the ashes are cleaned out if you're not going to be burning. Perfect. In it. Well, for more information, we always invite you to go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to their website. Come on out, pick up some great wood, some beautiful chimneas, and some wonderful pottery for your own place. Thanks a lot, Jerry. Awesome. Garden Time is brought to you by Portland Nursery, a passion for plants, a nursery for plant people. Is your garden in need of refreshment? Hi, I'm Sarah, and there are plenty of things in bloom at Portland Nursery. Come check out our beautiful fall color to perk up your garden. At Portland Nursery, we consider fall the second season, and the gardening opportunities are endless. Establish next year's trees, replace lettuce and greens, or get a jump on onions and garlic. Portland Nursery, a passion for plants, a nursery for plant people. 
on 50th and Stark and 90th and Division or at portlandnursery.com. Fall is a time to think of planting and planning. Planting new plants now will help them get a jump start on next year. Black Gold All Purpose can help your plants get ready for winter and next spring. Formulated with a blend of natural and organic nutrients, it contains everything your plants and spring bulbs need for a happy and healthy start. Look for Black Gold All Purpose at your local garden center or nursery. Black Gold, all the riches of the earth. Every year, trees fall or break, causing property damage, power outages, and injury. Now is the time for Bartlett Tree Experts and Collier Arbor Care to get your trees ready for the extreme conditions ahead. Our free consultation will help to spot the signs of potentially hazardous trees. We can help address problems before they occur. Whether it's trees or shrubs, we can help you get a healthy and beautiful garden. Collier Arbor Care and Bartlett Tree Experts, providing environmentally safe tree care since 1907. I am at French Prairie Gardens in St. Paul with Stacy. And Stacy, you know, I see you got all this fall beautiful things, but you know, your basket still looks so great. How do you do it? Oh yeah, you know, it's that time of the year where you either feel like you just want to get that last couple of weeks or month out of them, or you're just ready to be done. Well, if you want to keep them on your house mm -hmm. and keep them looking good, we suggest to use a water soluble 20-20-20 okay. fertilizer. We like the jacks. All right. And then we also suggest to use an insecticide. And this one's an organic one by Monterey. We really like it because it's easy to use and it gets rid of all the budworms and all those yuckies that are in your baskets that you might not even know about. And really, they're going to stay till frost then. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I think the saddest part about it is is when that frost hits know, and all the all color. Gone. Yeah, summer color just disappears. And what if you are tired about that summer color? Because sometimes it's like we're done with pinks and purples yes. and we want to go to these goals. Yes, yes, yeah. So, well, we're having an event. It's um, our fall ladies' night, and people can come and bring their containers or plant one up and switch everything fun. over to fall. Use some mums, some rubicia, all sorts of good color. Oh, fun, fun. Yeah. And and then you have another event coming up that you've had for several years now. Yes, yeah, we have our race coming up, which kicks off our um, fall harvest time for our pumpkin patch. And it's our Fight for Your Life 5K, which is very near and dear to our mm -hmm. hearts because it was made in memory of my sister who passed away from cancer. We formed a foundation in her name to help support uh, just local people that are fighting cancer just like she was. And so if people want to join up, you have a promo code that they can go to? Yeah, yeah. In memory of garden time right now, okay. uh, we're going to do GT for the promo code. and You get $5 off if you sign up. And the race is September 25th, and it starts at 1030. Um, and it's a lot of fun, and it kind of kicks everything off. And then we'll even have a pig racing show at 2 p.m. that day. So. Stacy, what do you get for the fee? Well, you can come and you can run, of course, but then you also get a uh, wristband to enjoy all the farm fun and a free beer afterwards. So it's a lot of fun, plus it's for a good cause. And there is a link at gardentime.tv that you can find out all about the history of the race and meet Em and, and find out all about this wonderful foundation and what it does. So well, thank you so much and have a great time. And I'm, I'm sure a bunch of people are gonna come out and run. Oh yeah, thanks, thanks. Judy. <gasps> Well, you know, it might be cooling off outside, but there's still a lot happening in our gardens. I'm here with Jan for our tips of the month. So um, I also noticed that when we walked in, you had left a little message for us in the Well, I the did. Uh, you can maybe take a look at that later, and then you could help me finish. <laughs> okay, okay? That, that sounds like a great okay. idea. I'm not going to do that, by the way. All right. uh, now, <laughs> let's, what are we looking for? Because I hear there's a new bug in town. Is that? Well, there's been a press release about a Japanese beetle finding in northwest uh, Portland, uh, Cedar Mill area, um, they've done some monitoring and found some Japanese beetles, which uh, enough that it, there's a concern. Yeah. Um, there isn't anything you're going to do about it now. It's a, a, a about a half inch adult beetle uh, that's very metallic and yeah. has tufted white hairs along its side, and there's a lot of look-alikes as well. So don't don't panic the adults are going to die because it's going to be cold here yeah. the larva or the eggs have already been laid in in turf there's no treatment expected right now but if you suspect that you see um see one and what we'll do is we'll 
put this on the yeah, website yeah. picture so that well, you they could, are pretty. They are. They're <laughs> gorgeous. They're really gorgeous. But there's a whole bunch of other half-inch size beetles. That these are the, this is the Japanese beetle. Uh, but then there's also others that oh, look yeah. very similar, yep. but they aren't metallic. They don't have the white. Well, there's one that has the white feathery. So you think sides. maybe we should just just everybody take a breath. And, right. And we'll deal with it. And we have a well. lot of cyclic insect issues yeah, that true. are, for whatever reason, they're a problem for a few years or a year or two, and then it's not. Yeah, like crane fly in lawns, chinch bug in lawns, yeah. the marmorated stink bug. Not that it's not still there, but it's not quite the panic that it sure. might be. So we just want to say, keep your eye open. Uh, there's a, a hotline number on the Department of Agriculture that you can call if you think you've seen any. Now, there is also at this time of year, though, a, a, a webbing in trees, right. which is, there's a couple kinds, but this is the fall one, right? The fall webworm, not the tent caterpillar that's earlier. Yeah. The fall webworm, they're on deciduous trees, which means those trees are going to lose their leaves anyway. Right. The webworm is not eating the tree, they're just eating the leaves that's inside the web. And you can poke a hole in them if you can reach them, and parasitic insects will do the job for you. If not, don't worry about it. It's nothing. Because they're going to die out in the winter. Yep, okay. absolutely. Nice. And then you have a, a one thing I hear about stretching plants. This is a great time to go out in your garden and see what's happening with your plants. Well, this one doesn't get the right light. It's telling me that on this whole side, there's really no growth yeah. going that way. And you can see but it leaning. Look, here it goes. <laughs> yeah. It goes from here and comes yeah. clear back around here. So if I wanted to do the right thing, I would dig it up and put it somewhere where it would reach light, get light sure. all the way around. And then you don't, even if you wanted to prune it back though, be careful of that because you'd cut all the buds off Well, right now for today. yeah, for next okay. year. And you could shape it and keep doing that, sure. but th this is a blooming plant, so Better I might lose it. Better just to find it. the right place for it though, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, every time we're out here, we always get a lot of great information from Jan on what we should be looking for and doing in our gardens. So once again, Jan, thanks for spending time with us. All right. right. See you next month. Yes, you will. Garden Time is brought to you by Capital Subaru, your way on the parkway. Buying a new vehicle should be something you look forward to. So when you come to Capital Subaru, bring your pup, practice your swing, go for a walk, and relax. Our personally tailored service makes it easy for you to find your ideal Subaru. While you enjoy the service, selection, and amenities you simply won't find at any other dealership. Hurry in now and lease the new 2017 Subaru Forester 2.5i, just $221 per month, or get 0% APR for 72 months on all 2016 Subaru Legacies. Capital Subaru, your way on the parkway. To bring the extraordinary colors of fall to your landscape, you need to come to a place that offers more than the ordinary. At Sagawa Nursery, we love fall. From brilliant yellows to vibrant reds, we have one of the Northwest's largest selections of Japanese maples. At Sagawa Nursery, we also have a colorful selection of hardy plants, so your home can be as beautiful as the season. Come visit us and see how we can help you make your season extraordinary. Sagawa Nursery, growing beyond the ordinary. The health and beauty of your garden starts from the ground up, and healthy soils begin at Grimm's Fuel. For the best in garden mulch, blended soils, and bark dust, choose Grimm's. U-Haul delivered or installed, Grimm's can do it. And if you're looking for a new lawn, Grimm's can do that too with our special lawn installation service. Grimm's is also the area's largest recycler of yard debris. The foundation for a healthy garden begins at Grimm's Fuel. Fall in the Northwest is the best time of year to plant, with warmer soils and cooler evenings. A time to spend with family and friends. Fall is a time to celebrate. To decorate. And to enjoy the colors that are only found here in our area. Fall is a time to come to Garland Nursery. And let us show you all that fall can be. Garland Nursery, inspiring beautiful and bountiful gardens. So you know we have a great product that we're going to be sharing with you today. It's uh, from the company called Sturdy Fence Post Brackets, and I'm here with with Chuck. And Chuck, you are the owner and the co-creator of this, right? Co-inventor, co-creator. Sure. So tell me, first of all, tell me what's it for? 
it puts uh, a bracket on a fence post that's either broken or just leaning. Um, if there's dry rot around the bottom and you don't, you don't have to throw the old post away. Yeah, yeah. And which makes sense because a lot of times fence posts aren't ruined all the way up and down. It's just that, that break or that crack or that rotting area that makes them weak. That's So true. this could save a lot of time and money, couldn't it? <laughs> oh, a lot of time and money. I'm 73 years old. It takes me a half hour from start to finish. To do the whole thing. To do the whole thing. So I see a lot of stuff sitting here. It doesn't, and this doesn't take a whole bunch of tools and things, just a few things. Tell me what it is that's in Post hole digger, and okay. you can borrow your neighbor's post hole digger uh -huh. and actually have them help you. Um, a little stir stick, a uh, level to make sure it's plumb, a hammer, pair of gloves, a 60 pound bag of uh, uh, concrete mix, a drill, some 3 eighths by two and a half inch lag screws, the, uh, a few of the uh, galvanized six penny nails, and then a sturdy fence post bracket, and then a bracing pole with a bracing stake. Empty bucket if you need it uh, to haul water. We happen to have a hose here, so it's gonna be real quick and clean. And so to do all this, we're gonna actually have the homeowner come on in. Come on in, Sherry. And she's gonna start finishing up the digging just to show how really easy this is. And we'll be back in a couple minutes and show you the completed project. Well, and with that, Sherry has finished digging the hole, which I think is probably the hardest part of this, really. It is. So now tell me about what, what happens next. Well, we have a concrete ball down here, and it weighs about 60 pounds, sometimes up to 80 pounds. Uh -huh. The only part that's wrong with this fence is post right there. is right there where yeah. the dry rod is. The rest of it is still good and solid. So this comes out, it misses the old concrete ball. Well, see, I wondered, when I looked down there, she's not digging by the post because there's concrete there. So that's this, correct. it says, why? It does. Okay. And that's the reason we invented this, is not to have to dig out this old concrete yeah. ball. Yeah, so then this, because again, like we've said already, this part of the post is fine. It's the part down here that is rotted and often True. broken. Yep. This saves that whole dilemma. Yeah. So now tell me about this fence. Show me what's wrong with it. Actually show me and what I would do next to install the We've loosened post. this board, so we're just uh -huh. going to take it off. Okay. And well, then, I saw it wiggling already when you sure. pulled it off. <laughs> and it is just very, oh, wow. very loose. Yeah. And that's because it's dry rotted down yeah. here at the bottom. And so we're going to put a bracket in. Here's one right here. And it's dug down between uh, 18 and 19 inches. It fits up right next to the, uh, to the concrete ball that's down there. It goes over the top of it. And then we put that board that I just took off. We uh -huh. put the board back over that. You won't see a thing. So then is now the place where we pour the new concrete? Right now we attach the bracket, Okay. then we fill it one third full of water, add the concrete, agitate it, really talk to it, yeah. Yeah, get it upset, <laughs> and then, um, and then you and let we'll it go from sit. There. Well yeah. let's take this step next, get this done, and then we'll come back and show you what else we're going to do. Great. Okay, now Chuck, I see that you're leveling things up there. It's perfect. And it, it, this is in now, so tell me the steps that we went through from the concrete forward. Well, from, from first thing you have to do is you have to find the loose posts. Sure, sure. If they're leaning or broken, you have to find them, and it's like a six-year-old's loose tooth. Once it wiggles, <laughs> it's not going back, okay? <laughs> then what we do is we dig a hole, we come out six inches away from the post, dig it 18 or 19 inches deep, you put the bracket in, right on top of the old concrete ball so you don't have to dig that out. Yeah. You put 3 eighths by 2 and a half inch lag screws in, pre-drill with a quarter inch drill, <laughs> fill it one third full of water, add a bag of uh, concrete, uh, agitate it, get it going, and we're going to finish it off because it's still a little soupy, and you level it. And that's it. And then how long do you leave it with the brace on? One day. 24, One day, 24 hours, hours. That's all it needs. And then I'm assuming you just put the soil back on and you said you could even put the fence plate cover yep. back on to hide the whole thing. That's what we will do nice. after we take the brace off. Nice. We'll put that uh, fence uh, the upright. And just cover it all up. So now let's say I, I, I get these, I'm gonna do this. What if I have a couple of questions? Do you have a website I can go to and just? It's at stir-defense.com. Okay. Sturdyfence.com. You can call me direct at 503-941-5228.
and I'll answer the questions Perfect. for you. If I'm not there, I will return the phone call uh, that day. Well, there you go. Now listen, this can really, this is a great idea and it can save you a small fortune on redoing an entire fence when all you have is one broken fence post. So for more information, we always invite you to go to gardentime.tv. Okay. We'll click you over to their website. Chuck, thank you so much, my thank friend. Thank you. I appreciate it, William. Let me get You're this glove off. I'm going <laughs> to shake your hand. Thank you, sir. Welcome to Drake's, not your ordinary garden center. Grab a cup of coffee at Antonio's and wander the nursery for the perfect plant. Check out the landscape design showrooms for ideas, then meet with a designer. Come pick out a bouquet of flowers for dinner or for that someone special. Find something distinctive for your home or your garden. Imagine the possibilities and let Drake's turn them into realities. Drake's 7Ds on Southwest Shoals Ferry Road in Portland. It's fall clearance time at Standard TV and Appliance. Take up to an additional 50% off the lowest tagged price on closeouts, overstocks, floor models, and special purchases at Standard, including refrigerators and freezers, washers and dryers, ranges, wall ovens, and cooktops, top brand dishwashers, HDTVs, and home theater. Plus, take up to an additional 20% off on display and discontinued pro style appliances. Hurry, savings like this won't last long. Only while they last, Standard TV and Appliance. Welcome to Blooming Junction, where it's easy to connect with nature. At Blooming Junction, you'll find beautiful, healthy plants, good, fresh food, and a place to regain peace and calm in your life. We have an unsurpassed collection of unique and distinctive plants and the expertise to help any gardener be successful. And we feature Blooming Advantage plants. Come check out Blooming Junction for an inspiring experience in the garden or in the kitchen. Blooming Junction, offering quality plants for beautiful gardens. I'm at French Prairie Perennials in Aurora with Rick Naylor, and Rick, you know, we're getting into that change of seasons, and so it looks like you have some uh, conifers here to talk about fall and winter interest. Right, exactly, and it looks like fall's coming early this year, uh -huh. from what I see from the long-range forecast anyway, but, so yeah, I mean, just because it's winter, fall, doesn't mean you have to lack color Definitely, in your garden. Yeah. And particularly with some of these things that we're going to talk about, dwarf conifers, they're very low maintenance, nice. very easy to grow. So. Uh, even though you're using conifers, evergreens, you still don't have to sacrifice any color. No, not at all. And so they're also pet friendly. We have uh, these beautiful right. um, lawn ornaments <laughs> here <laughs> with us, and they're really kind of cute to add some extra bling to your garden. Right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so what do you have for us? Okay, well, the first thing we'll talk about here, this grass is called uh, Festuca superba. Nice. Which is a little bit different than your typical blue fescue, and then it has a lot longer uh, and a lot narrower needle. But it is an evergreen, so it, it does add color for the winter. And if you use it in conjunction with this particular plant, that's nice. which is Harvard Gold, which is a dwarf saguaro cypress, you can see the contrast that you Pretty. get. So you still have a lot of color. Right. Middle of January, December, whatever, February, you still have got a lot of color. Nice. So. And so in the summertime, in the sun for this one or low shade? Um, it depends. The summers that we've had, we're probably going to want to give this one a little bit of afternoon, okay. sun, uh, afternoon shade if we can because it's been so hot. Ah, but okay. temperatures are fairly mild, you know, 70s, 80s, we're okay with, All with right. it being in the sun. And these blue lollipop over there, that's great. This is Abies coriana icebreaker, which is a really hard to come by plant and extremely slow growing. This is a one to one and a half inch a year grower. Wow. This particular one is grafted on a standard, which would make it a really nice container plant for your patio or your deck. Uh, it also, this is the normal, normally the way it grows. This is uh, a little bit younger plant, but also you'll get a very tight bun like this. But the, the color, the silvery color that you get stays that way year round. Oh, and beautiful. never changes. So when, when you need to get into wintertime, again, it's a very bright color. And if you use it in conjunction with something like this, which is Ooh, that gold, the yeah. Hanoki cypress called golden fern. Uh huh. Pretty. You know, not only do you get different texture, but you also get a, a lot, uh, a lot of contrast. Nice. And this has got such a ferny texture. You would almost think it's a fern. And will this get very, very big? No, that's actually going to only get to get between three and four feet tall and about uh, two feet wide. Ah. So. Uh, but also grows extremely slowly. Nice. So, and so if you need some height, this is a good one right here. That's Whistle Saguaro, which is a Lawson Cypress. Now the key thing about Lawson Cypress, any kind of Lawson Cypress, you'll want to make sure that you get it on disease resistant rootstock, mm. grafted onto disease resistant rootstock, because Lawson Cypress have a huge amount of problem in our area with, with uh, root rot. So make sure, ask 
wherever the garden, your garden center you go sure. to or whatever, make sure you ask that it's on disease resistant rootstock before you buy that plant. But it's a very narrow plant. It's going to have arms that come out kind of like a squirrel cactus. Yeah, they're cool. And if you don't like that look, you can always prune them and they have a very narrow upright plant. Ah. But you're looking at about eight feet tall for that one. So a nice smaller so. garden or a container again, that would be a great candidate. Absolutely. Nice. Absolutely. And then one we have here is a dwarf Japanese umbrella pine called Grunkugel. And very dense foliage. And it's another great one for a smaller garden because it doesn't get huge and it doesn't get very wide. It's also very narrow. But the great thing I like about the umbrella pines is you don't get any dead on the inside like you do with some Hinoki cypress or anything. It's just sure. as green on the, in the center as it is on the outside. So that's the, the, the real nice attraction to that plant. Also, a very low maintenance plant. It doesn't require any pruning. Like most of these don't require any pruning. Oh, wow, that's really nice. And once they're established, they're, they're very drought, to drought tolerant. Oh, great. And then so, what is this one? This very a kind of a stringy one. Very cool. This is Frankie Boy. And we, in, in visual scaping, we like to use this in place of grasses because you still get the motion of the of you get with grasses, but it is an evergreen. And <clears throat> it's also very low maintenance. So with most of our most of our visual escaping jobs, we're, we really concentrate on year-round color, right? So that you get 12 months worth of of garden instead of just six months. But this is a great one because of that. And and when the uh, we get some high winds, you really get the motion out yeah, of it. And, and it has that bright lime green color. And so visual scaping, you have to tell the folks. So you come out to people's houses and you bring plants instead of doing drawings and you kind right. of place them. And so you really can get the whole effect of your garden um, in the renovation of it. Right, because people are visual. Yeah, can, it's definitely. one thing to look at a piece of paper with numbers drawn on it. It's another thing to actually see the plants in your yard. Yeah. And that way, any changes you want to make, you can make them there and know exactly what you're getting instead of trying to guess at it or looking on the internet trying to figure out what <laughs> what you know everything's going to look like right so so if you're really interested in that it's to come out here and talk to you and talk to your staff about having someone come out to the house and, and set that up absolutely I think that's a great way to do a, a renovation absolutely absolutely and so you're right down in downtown aurora you have huh? a gift shop you have this really yep. great yard yep. um, of plants and of just a wonderful a wonderful area for to yep. um, look at plants and to hang out yep the gift shop's gearing up for fall um, right now and then of course at christmas time we have a huge selection of christmas items uh, on sale so um, yeah we're, we're open 24 <laughs> almost 24 /7. almost 24 7 <laughs> but anyway uh, 12 months a year anyway all right well thanks so much thanks for all the hints you bet thank you Judy appreciate it Thank you so much for watching today. Now remember, the Fight for Your Life 5K run is happening September 25th out here at French Prairie Gardens. For more information about the run or any information on today's show, please go to gardentime.tv. You know, William and I thank you for watching and we'll see you next week here on Garden Time. The proceeding was a paid program of the Gustin Creative Group and its sponsors.